Ever wondered how hackers break into systems? How they manage to bypass security measures that seem impenetrable? Today, we'll demystify the techniques and tools used by hackers to infiltrate systems and networks. Get ready for a crash course on hacking techniques. From the basics of social engineering to the complexities of exploiting software vulnerabilities, we'll cover it all. You'll see how hackers think and operate, and why they do what they do. We'll explore the methods used by cyber criminals and how you can protect yourself. Understanding these methods is the first step in defending against them. We'll also look at the ethical side of hacking, known as white hat hacking, and how it helps in strengthening cybersecurity. From simple phishing emails to sophisticated AI-powered attacks, the range of hacking techniques is vast and ever-growing. Phishing remains one of the most common methods, but the use of AI in hacking is a game-changer, making attacks more efficient and harder to detect. The world of hacking is constantly evolving. What was once considered advanced is now basic, and new techniques are being developed every day. We'll take a look at the history of hacking, how it has evolved over the years, and what the future might hold. Understanding these techniques is crucial in today's digital landscape. With the increasing reliance on digital systems, the importance of cybersecurity cannot be overstated. Whether you're protecting personal information or securing a corporate network, knowledge is your best defense. Whether you're a tech novice or a seasoned professional, this essay will provide valuable insights into the ever-evolving world of cybersecurity threats. We'll break down complex concepts into easy-to-understand language, making it accessible for everyone. This essay will provide valuable insights into the ever-evolving world of cybersecurity threats. We'll discuss real-world examples of cyber attacks, their impact, and how they were mitigated. You'll learn about the latest trends in cybersecurity and what you can do to stay safe. So buckle up and get ready to dive into the fascinating world of hacking. It's a world full of challenges and opportunities where knowledge truly is power. We'll equip you with the tools and understanding you need to navigate this complex landscape. We'll uncover the secrets behind these attacks and equip you with the knowledge to stay one step ahead. From recognizing the signs of a phishing attempt to understanding the latest in AI-driven attacks, you'll be better prepared to protect yourself and your data. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the digital age, cybersecurity knowledge is paramount. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and stay safe. Let's embark on this journey together and become more cyber-aware. Phishing is like casting a wide net to catch unsuspecting victims. Imagine receiving an email that looks like it's from your bank, it asks you to click a link and update your account information, but beware. This could be a phishing attack. Clicking the link might take you to a fake website designed to steal your credentials. Phishing emails often use urgent or threatening language to trick you into acting quickly. Always double check the sender's email address and look for any suspicious signs. If something feels off, it probably is. Report phishing attempts to the legitimate organization and protect yourself from these scams. Social engineering is all about manipulating people into giving up sensitive information. Think of it as hacking the human, not the computer. A social engineer might call you pretending to be from IT support. They might ask for your password, claiming they need to fix a problem. Or they might try to gain your trust by posing as a friend or colleague. Always be wary of unsolicited requests for personal information. Verify the identity of anyone asking for sensitive data. Don't be afraid to say no or hang up if something feels suspicious. Your gut instinct is often your best defense against social engineering tactics. Spear phishing is like phishing, but with a laser focus. Instead of casting a wide net, attackers target specific individuals or organizations. They gather information about their targets to create highly personalized emails. These emails might mention specific projects, colleagues, or events to make them seem more convincing. Whaling is a type of spear phishing that targets high-profile individuals like CEOs and celebrities. The stakes are higher and the rewards are greater. Attackers use sophisticated techniques to bypass security measures and gain access to valuable data. Protecting against spear phishing and whaling requires vigilance, awareness, and strong security protocols. Section 5. Malware – The Unwanted Guests Malware is like a digital virus that can infect your computer and cause all sorts of problems. There are many types of malware, each with its own nasty tricks. Viruses can replicate themselves and spread to other devices. Worms can spread through networks, exploiting vulnerabilities to infect multiple systems. Ransomware encrypts your files and demands a ransom for their release. 
Spyware secretly monitors your activities and steals your information. Adware bombards you with unwanted advertisements. Trojans disguise themselves as legitimate software but carry malicious payloads. Protect yourself with strong antivirus software, keep your system updated, and be cautious about opening suspicious attachments. Section 6. Web Vulnerabilities. Chinks in the Armor. In the digital age, our reliance on web applications and websites has grown exponentially. However, this reliance comes with its own set of risks and challenges. Websites and web applications are often riddled with vulnerabilities that hackers can exploit. These vulnerabilities can range from simple coding errors to complex security loopholes that can be difficult to detect and fix. One of the most common and dangerous vulnerabilities is SQL injection. SQL injection is like speaking the database's language to trick it into revealing sensitive information. This can include anything from user credentials to financial data. Imagine a login form that asks for your username and password. This is a common entry point for SQL injection attacks. An attacker might enter malicious code into the username field. This code is designed to manipulate the database into executing unintended commands. If the website is vulnerable, this code could be executed by the database. The consequences can be severe, leading to unauthorized access to sensitive data or even complete control over the database. Another prevalent vulnerability is cross-site scripting, or XSS. XSS allows attackers to inject malicious scripts into websites. These scripts can be used to steal user information, manipulate web content, or perform actions on behalf of the user without their consent. These scripts can then steal your cookies, redirect you to malicious websites, or even take control of your browser. The impact of XSS attacks can range from minor annoyances to significant security breaches. To combat these vulnerabilities, developers must sanitize user input and follow secure coding practices. This includes validating and escaping data, using prepared statements, and regularly updating and patching software. By implementing these measures, developers can significantly reduce the risk of web vulnerabilities and protect user data. It's also crucial for organizations to conduct regular security audits and penetration testing. These practices help identify and address potential vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by malicious actors. Users can also play a role in enhancing security by enabling two-factor authentication, using strong and unique passwords, and being cautious of suspicious links and emails. In conclusion, while web vulnerabilities pose significant risks, a combination of secure coding practices, regular security assessments, and user vigilance can create a robust defense against potential threats. By staying informed and proactive, we can fortify our digital environments and protect our valuable information. Section 7, Man in the Middle Mayhem. Imagine someone eavesdropping on your conversation, but instead of words, they're stealing your data. That's a man in the middle or MITM attack. Attackers intercept communication between two parties, like your computer and a website. They can then eavesdrop on your traffic, steal your credentials, or even modify the data being exchanged. Session hijacking is a type of MITM attack, where the attacker steals your session ID. This ID acts like a digital key, allowing them to impersonate you and access your accounts. Using HTTPS websites, strong passwords, and being cautious about public Wi-Fi can help prevent MITM attacks. Section 8. Password Attacks Cracking the Code Passwords are the gatekeepers to our digital lives, but they're often the weakest link. In today's interconnected world, our reliance on passwords to secure our personal and professional information has never been greater. Yet despite their importance, many people still use weak or easily guessable passwords, making them prime targets for cybercriminals. Brute force attacks involve trying every possible combination of characters until the password is cracked. This method can be time-consuming, but with the power of modern computing, it can be surprisingly effective, especially against simple passwords. Hackers use sophisticated software that can test millions of combinations in a matter of seconds. Dictionary attacks use lists of common passwords and variations to guess your password. These lists often include the most frequently used passwords, such as 123,456 inches or password, as well as common words and phrases. By leveraging these pre-compiled lists, attackers can quickly and efficiently break into accounts that use predictable passwords. Credential stuffing exploits the fact that many people reuse passwords across multiple accounts. When a data breach occurs and passwords are leaked, attackers use those stolen credentials to try and access other accounts. This technique is particularly effective because many people use the same password for multiple services, making it easier for hackers to gain access to a wide range of personal information. 
Attackers use stolen credentials from one website to try and access other accounts. This method relies on the assumption that users have reused their passwords across different platforms. Once they gain access to one account, they can potentially infiltrate other accounts, leading to a domino effect of compromised security. Keylogging malware records every keystroke you make, capturing passwords, credit card numbers, and other sensitive information. This type of malware can be installed through malicious downloads or phishing emails, and it operates silently in the background, making it difficult to detect. Once installed, it sends the recorded data back to the attacker, who can then use it to access your accounts and steal your information. Use strong, unique passwords for each account, enable two-factor authentication, and be wary of phishing attempts that try to steal your credentials. Strong passwords should be a mix of letters, numbers, and special characters, and they should be at least 12 characters long. Two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security by requiring a second form of verification, such as a code sent to your phone. Always be cautious of emails or messages that ask for your personal information, and never click on suspicious links. By taking these precautions, you can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to password attacks and keep your digital life secure.